I hit rank number one on ladder with Terra Normal Choice Specs Trick Calyrex, and I want to go over some of the replays that got me there, and I also want to go over kind of how to use Calyrex and kind of how to beat the Pokemon as well. It's going to be one of the most, like, biggest central pieces of the metagame, and I think it's really important to know how to beat it. So these are the, these are two replays that kind of got me there, and then we're going to go over the team and then kind of, you know, generally, you know, information about Calyrex and how to beat it. So the way this game starts, and this really showcases how broken Calyrex is. So I lead Ogre Pond Heart Flame plus Calyrex, relatively straightforward lead into most things. You know, Mold Breaker goes off, the train goes off. They Terra Water the Ogre Pond, you know, relatively good play. I go for Astral Barrage, it two shots both Pokemon. First of all, this thing two shots through the boost, like through, through the special offense boost. It's that strong, like that's how good choice specs is. Like a Pokemon that's supposed to be specially bulky supposed to be a special ball committing a terror to be a special ball gets two shot like that's insane in my opinion electro drift also does a lot of damage like that's a lot of damage for an electro drift like because it's a resisted target into ogre pond which naturally has decently good bulk either way so now i get into our shifu and at this point the game is over <laughs> because i click a astral barrage you know pick up two knockouts and i go for a surging strikes Surging Strikes fails, but that's absolutely okay. Now King Gambit and Sinor come in. This back does not beat our Shifu at all. I just Terra Normal here, and look at this damage. By the way, is this Assault Vest King Gambit? I don't remember. No, it's Sword Stance. But either way, that's a re two resisted hits. Does 7684. If, if that was a plus one boost instead of plus two, that would be a two shot. And it's so easy to get a Grimnet. Like, it's that crazy. And, like, I think Normal's a great defensive Terra for other Calyrex. But, like, either way. Like, that's it. Like, it went crazy. I, I don't know what else to say. Like, Calyrex just swept. And then, yeah, at that point, that, that was actually the one that got me to rank one. But, like, dude, this Pokemon is not fair. Like, that, that is, like, that, that's insane. I just, like, if you guys remember, um, Reggie Drago plus, uh, Ogre Pond, uh, Heart Flame, like, people just, like, follow me Dragon Energy. This is literally just that, but better. Like, way, way better. Like, this is Fluttermane, but, like, an infinitely better Fluttermane. Like, it's actually crazy, in my opinion. This is another replay of the team putting in work. Now, I end up leading Whimsicott. The reason I'm using Whimsicott, by the way, I'll probably go over it a bit later, but I do really like Whimsicott into this format. I think it's relatively solid. So here I just protect. I thought that was pretty consistent, and I set up Tailwind. My opponent goes for Icy Wind, and I think they try to knock out our Shifu. At least that's what I would do. Oh, they actually just go for Snarl. Okay, so this is actually an Assault Vest set. At least that's what my thought is. So I go into Rillaboom here. It's really good defensively and just neutrally in general. And I Moonblast the bundle. Because their bundle is so... Basically in this format, all the good bundle players are probably going to run Focus Sash. Because you already get the boost uh, of speed in... Um, like you already get Quark Drive, right? If you're using Maridon. And most of the time you're using Bundle with Maridon. So Sash ends up being really good. Because, you know, Bundle's not that bulky naturally. So like you, that's kind of the reason behind it. But this is just insane. And you guys will see why. So Calyrex comes in. Again, this is an Assault Vest Snarl Maridon. Really, really bulky. Supposed to beat Calyrex. And Sinor also supposed to beat Calyrex, by the way. So I go for Fake Out here. And then I go for Astral Barrage. Astral Barrage does... Uh, I mean, it crits. That would have done like 40, basically. Which is still a lot of damage. So here I have one more turn of Tailwind. Now this is fantastic. So Ogre Pond Wellspring comes in. What I do is I Terra Normal and I actually just go straight into our Shifu. I thought about going for a high horsepower, and I probably should have high horsepower, but I thought this covered most of my bases anyways. So yeah, I you know, I lose my item, it does a decent amount of damage. But here, look at this, Astral Barrage just picks up two knockouts. And the thing is, because I'm next to our Shifu, they can't defensively swap out. There's nothing in the game that takes Astral Barrage into Surging Strikes. Like, that is one of the best offensive combination in the game. At this point, my opponent can get into Maridon, but they can't really win from this position. So what I do here is that basically Calyrex plus some um, Urshifu already won no Calyrex plus Rillaboom already wins the game. So Urshifu should never swap into Rillaboom. What I should do is I should protect and then I should close combat the bundle. Because that would pretty much guarantee the game with Rillaboom. And if they knock at Urshifu, then I already win with Rillaboom plus some. Um, you know, what's it called? I went with Rillaboom plus uh, Calyrex, because I just fake out the Maridon, take whatever bundle has to offer, and then I can just go for a Glide and uh, Astral Barrage and kind of just went off of that, because it's at plus two. So, I, and also, I did put Protect on the Trick set, because I felt like I would use Trick a lot more, so, yeah, that was kind of the uh, theory behind that. But yeah, or, I mean, I guess this one's knocked off, but I also assume that people would want to knock off if I, even if I defensive Terra. So, yeah, that's kind of why I protect. I didn't really need another move. But at this point, you know, I just go into Rillaboom here, you know, to turn off the terrain, and it seems like I'm just faster. And, you know, Assault Vest, but even with that, 
like it's just it just does so much damage and at this point the game's over like that's a that's a calyrex after losing its item still sweeps this was a bit earlier on but yeah this is kind of the concept like this pokemon is busted so i'm kind of going to go over the team and then kind of go over how to different ways to use calyrex so basically this team is very much similar to uh, the team I used to top eight the Vancouver Regional Championships super recently. I think it's only been like one week since. Now, I ended up making a few changes to suit this format. The first big one was Whimsicott. So I used Whimsicott over uh, Tornadus because I felt like one, Cotton Spore is really good. I also wanted Moonblast as a way of hitting Assault Vest Maridon. I thought that would be really important because, you know, it, it does a good amount of damage. It also hits Assault Vest Raging Bolt, which opens up the Calyrex a lot more. I felt like the Cal like in the, on the other team, I feel like it needed speed control. It needed the bulk of Tornadus and everything. But here, Whimsicott only has to do speed control. It doesn't really have to do anything else. And, and like, it doesn't really need the power that Tornadus had. So because of that, you can really focus on using Moonblast to beat these, you know, Assault Vest Snarl Maridon, Assault Vest Snarl raging bolt which again is just going to open up your calyrex now i wanted to win the tailwind mirror and the reason you know because it's a cal calyrex is really common in the format and having con spore allows you to do that so it's not only terra normal that helps you versus that in the mirror you also have con spore con spore is really good in general just extra speed control it's literally just the tailwind but i mean it's not a tailwind it's like string shot but on both targets which feels really broken because it is like it is like insanely good speed control it's like scary face on both targets that's the way I would, I would explain it but yeah it's so so good like I actually think this move is like absolutely insane and yeah it just wins you the tailwind mirrors and like with focus ash you take that one hit anyways because I thought about running super bulky covered cloak but I was like you know what I can just lead whimsicott or shifu double protect and I'll be fine and I'll still have focus ash into con spore so like yeah like focus ash you know tailwind on that turn and then go for con spore the next turn sack whimsicott and then just win so like it's really really good in my opinion like this whimsicott set's amazing i used a uh, helping hand and like so there's this large online tournament in uh, sword and shield called uh it was, it was one of the victory road tournaments and i actually used helping hand over uh protect and i was able to get top 16 there but it kind of took me until after the tournament to realize Protect just infinitely a better move on Whimsicott. I think kind of just comes with getting better at the game, like realizing like different defensive positions. And yeah, Protect is a busted move on this Pokemon. Like, and Consport too. Like, this set is so good in this format. Like, I actually think it's probably one of the better speed control options. Then there's Calyrex. Calyrex is busted. Like, that, that's all I have to say. Like, this Pokemon, I, I was talking about it. I was, I was like, it's Fluttermane evolved four times. Like, that's how good this Pokemon is. First of all, this ability as one, it combines Unnerve and Grimnay. That's one Pokemon with two abilities, just straight up. And the other thing is that what does Unnerve do? All the Incineroars are running Citrus Berry. This means that into Incineroar, it can't proc Citrus Berry. So you're going for Astro Barrage, and if you have something like Rillaboom next to Calyrex, which, you know, Incineroar is supposed to be either, you know, Incineroar is supposed to be both of them, Astro Barrage, like Choice Specs, into a high horsepower should just pick up the Incineroar. And if it's at 80% or 70% or whatever, then even minus one high horsepower to pick up, like after Astro Barrage. And they can't get their Citrus Berry. So, like, it's so, so strong. Like, Unnerve is a crazy ability. And then Grimnay is even, like, even, even better. Because you can, you know, you can trick something. You can play a bulky game with Protect and cycle your fake outs. And as soon as you get a boost, you get your specs back, technically. And it just allows you to sweep through. If you're choice specs and you get a boost, it's even more insane. You're just sweeping through teams super easily. So, I picked Terra Normal. I felt like if I was Terra Dark and they got two special attack boosts, I would still lose the game. So, yeah, Normal is just the straight up the immunity. And it felt good yeah like that like normal is purely there for the immunity like you absolutely need the immunity in my opinion i did see people trying terra fairy but yeah terra fairy does not beat the calyrex mirror like calyrex is such a is such a oppressive pokemon that you need to be able to deal with the mirror and yeah terra normal felt like a good way to do it and yeah protect was a good move like i think i think the more you play vgc the more you realize how good protect is and different unique ways to make it work like both calyrex and like at least this kind of calyrex and whimsicott normally wouldn't run it but it is actually really good on the, both of these sets and yeah the move the moves just ended up putting in so much work then there's a uh, ogre pun heart flame uh, it's relatively straightforward um i did offer a grassy glide to beat scarf or shifu because scarf or shifu could be a little bit annoying a uh, terrifier ivy cudgel so strong it just feels like a second restricted pokemon sometimes which is really nice like yeah the thing is like terrifier ivy cudgel like it just does so much damage to everything and when you have to deal with terrifier ivy cudgel you have to deal with follow me and you have to deal with specs calyrex astral Brodge. it just gives you so many more offensive options than your opponents can ever handle and i think that's good yeah the redirection is really nice because it opens up your 
Calyrex. It opens up your Shifu. It even opens up your Rillaboom. In Tailwind Terrifier, IV Cudgel so good, but also having the priority makes it so you don't actually have to play into your Tailwind mode. Like, plus one Terra Fire Glide, you know, it's, it's just so, so strong. Then there's Incineroar. I mean, this is good into other Calyrex. I put Citrus Berry. I don't know if Citrus Berry is the best item because, you know, Calyrex has a nerf. I think Incineroar needs knockoff. I've seen some Willow Spinsons, but it's just so easy to spam Astral Barrage versus them. Like, knockoff's definitely the way to do it. Like, it just clears the Pokemon, so I'm glad that, you know, this Pokemon has knockoff. But yeah, this is the uh, Calyrex counter. It's also just generally really good, like, Double Fake Out plus or Shifu Ogre Pond. Like, I used those four in, like, almost every game at Vancouver and was able to cut there. So, yeah, I thought it would make a lot of sense to pair with Calyrex. Also, Incineroar and Calyrex have almost perfect synergy. Like, Incineroar is able to swap into the Dark and Ghost hits really well and has Intimidate which is you know really bad for Calyrex so yeah I think I think Incineroar and Calyrex just end up being like a really really good pairing and yeah it's something that I personally really enjoyed now the next one is going to be Urshifu yeah I opted for Mystic Water I thought about Choice Scarf but the thing was was that Mystic Water is just so powerful like I have Cotton Spore for Speed Control and I think having access to Protect and Double Fake Out is just so good because you can Tailwind you so you can Protect Tailwind and then you can con spore and you're faster than everything anyways so like even into the tailwind mirror you're fine if you do that so yeah i felt like i felt like the bulky mystic water stuff was good it's also the thing is people are, are going to be running miraidon more so they won't be running as much raging bolt and raging bolt is the best counter to our shifu so technically your shifu rapid strike actually became better because of this format because miraidon came in so like yeah and it, it has definitely felt that way some games you just immediately lead tornadoes whimsicott just go for tailwind into surging strikes and you kind of just went off of that yeah the other thing is that so Calyrex loses to uh, you know dark types it loses to instant like all the things that Calyrex lose to or Shifu rapid strike just clears like it's actually so funny like Incineroar just gets cleared Tang Lu gets cleared like the entire the entire list of dark types just loses to Terra Water surging strikes so you actually the, the offensive combination of Calyrex and Urshifu is almost impossible to handle especially with Unseen Fist like I think it's absolutely insane like it is so so good like I wanted to build around those two Pokemon because I felt like no teams would be able to handle it especially in the early format and this definitely felt like the way to do it then there's Rillaboom. A uh, high horsepower is mandatory. You need to be able to hit Maridon. Also, high horsepower into uh, Astral Barrage. We were talking about those calcs. Like, that double up does pick up most in Sinor and, you know, ignore Citrus Berry. It's, it's actually kind of funny. Even if it did not ignore Citrus Berry, Astral Barrage wouldn't proc Citrus, but then high horsepower would knock out anyways. So, yeah, it's actually, it actually works out conveniently anyways. But yeah, the Fake God's good. I do like the change of terrain. You need to be able to turn off Electric Terrain in that matchup, especially if they're Assault Fest. Because Assault Fest, Maridon does actually beat her Shifu Calyrex so you know you do need your Rillaboom for that but Rillaboom Whimsicott completely destroys that so you actually have some good synergy coming out of it but yeah I loved Rillaboom I think the terrain change into Psychic Terrain or like changing Psychic and Electric Terrain is really good because it allows you to play a better defensive game and yeah I did say Rillaboom was one of the better neutral Pokemon in the format and I definitely wanted to build a team that used it because yeah it gave uh it gave neutral matchups across the board basically but yeah that's kind of the gist of the team uh the full pace will be on Patreon but yeah this is kind of the uh because a lot of the spreads I did use at Vancouver and might use in other events but yeah otherwise uh yeah the relatively straightforward team but yeah I think there were some interesting things like the Terra Normal Calyrex with Protect and Choice Specs the uh, Conspore Whimsicott so yeah that's kind of the uh, gist of it but let's go over how to use Calyrex so how do you use Calyrex this is one way I think I think this is probably the strongest way but there's a bunch of different sets that actually work for this Pokemon so the thing about Calyrex is, there's one set that I think is really good. I did actually showcase this on my uh, community tab a bit earlier, but yeah, so you have Nasty Plot. I do actually think Expanding Force is better than Psy Shock. You do punish Psychic Terrain really hard, but I would try something like this. So basically, this is Terra Ghost. If you manage to get one Nasty Plot, Terra Ghost Astral Brush, what switches into that? Like, I actually do not know what switches into that. I mean, of course, you know, Tropic Ghost does, but that, that that's a different story. Like... There's not much that beats this. Like, like it's just plus two, Terra Ghost, and knock everything out with and get the Grimnay and sweep through. Expanding Force is good at punishing terrain. Also just knocks out normal types at plus two because the Pokemon's so good. So this is probably the most depressive nasty plot set. I did see Terra Fairy Draining Kiss with like Life Orb and all that, but I think the Sash one's just way more consistent. Because the thing about the Sash Calyrex set is that once the format develops, people know how to beat Calyrex. Like right now, the reason I was able to abuse a Choice Specs Calyrex because people did not know how to beat it. But once people know how to beat 
you know, Calyrex, I think the Focus Sash Nasty Plot one becomes so much better. It's also just good into the Calyrex Mirror in general because, you know, you can position yourself effectively into it. And yeah, the, the Astral Barrage is so, so good. I, I do think games will come down to, you know, speed ties, but I think this definitely does avoid that. So yeah, I'm actually really, really glad. Like, I think this, uh, that Terra Ghost uh, Sash set is amazing. Now, in, in terms of partners, you'd probably want to pair that with Amoongus. You could pair that with Ogre Pond Wellspring. You could pair with Heart Flame. I think Wellspring is a good partner, like, you know, Wellspring into Incineroar, because this is just a bit better of a defensive core than Fire Pond Incineroar, you know, just because you have this Water type and potential special defense boost. And you can really, you know, just go for Double Protect, go for that Follow Me, you know, get off the uh, Nasty Plot. Maybe you end up pairing it with some sort of Defined Pokemon or Competitive Pokemon, so they don't want to go for Snarls into you. And at that point, you're just in a really good position to, you know, start sweeping. Now, the other partner that I think is really good for Calyrex, and even this set, and even the Choice Spec set, or just in general, is Mian Xiao. Now, a lot of people are actually picking up on Mian Xiao. So, it's good into the mirror, because you have Wide Guard. So, there's that. Close Combat clears Incineroar, which is, you know, one of the best ways to uh, beat Calyrex, and a lot of Incineroar going Terra Ghost, but at that point, you know, they lose to Astral Barrage. You get access to Fake Gal, and you also get access to Helping Hand. But, in my opinion, I think the better move is Faint, because what does Faint do? Faint nullifies Detect Protect standard, and Wide Guard. That's a big one. It nullifies other Wide Guard. It's like you can stop Wide Guard strategies by having Mian Shell plus Calyrex. So what if you fake out into Nasty Plot? You know, that is probably what you should do. And then you just go for Faint. You know, break Protect, first of all, so you kind of get that Urshifu effect. Break fo That breaks Focus Ash, by the way. So there's also that. And then Astral Barrage just sweeps. And if you're worried about spread attacks in the mirror, you have Wide Guard. So, and like, so like the faint wide guard is really good. Close combat beats in Sinor. So this would be an amazing partner for Calyrex. Like this is definitely one of the top things that I would consider with the Pokemon. Because I think, I, I do think this makes a ton of sense. Like it is so good. I do think like as the format develops, you do want to play this nasty plot stuff, but there's that. Now what is another Calyrex set? I think bulky Calyrex can also be really good. So I guess some different, uh, I mean, I've seen Life Orb. Okay, okay. I'm going to mention this one just because I've seen people do it. I don't know how good it is, honestly, but there's this one. So I've seen people run Nasty Plot or Substitute, and basically, you know you have Terra Fairy. Now, Terra Fairy is great into Urshifu Dark, which a lot of people are using with Focus Sash, and that is their way of beating Calyrex. It's already a standard Pokemon in Regulation E, or not E, um, Regulation G. Oh, bro. Regulation F, and people are going to bring it into Regulation G. So because of that, and like, you know, just on those standard archetypes, it's so like Terra Fairy is good into that. Draining Kiss gives you a really good amount of reliable recovery, so you can hide behind the substitutes and play off of that. Now, you can also play something like Spell Tag. Spell Tag would give you good damage, because think about Calyrex is. So, like, there's a lot of different spreads that you can go for, right? Like, I guess you could even go, like, I mean, in general, you could think about something along these lines. So, you go, you know, end up going for, like, Timid, you know, outspeed whatever you need to, which is, like, the Iron Bundle stuff. And then maybe you end up investing a bit into Special Attack, you know, something along these lines. And then all these EVs into bulk. And you can use this spell tag to give you the damage that you need. So you can consistently use, you know, fake out into substitute and then start spamming Astro Brodgers. And then in the right position, you get a bunch of recovery from potential grassy turn because you're probably pairing this with Incineroar Rillaboom. And then you also get access to, you know, Draining Kiss, which uh, Terra Fairy beats her Shifu. So this would be a bulky Pokemon that can stay on the field. Defensive Terra into something that's useful and then use the Incineroar Rillaboom support as really good means of getting off Substitute, and then just sweeping through its super powerful Astral Barrage that's boosted by Spell Tag, and if you manage to get a plus one boost, it's over. Like, you, you just win. It's so like, this could actually be a really good way of playing the Pokemon, because this is bulky. 200 Special Attack is so good, and Astral Barrage is one of the most broken moves in the game, and this outspeeds Iron Bundle Fluttermane immediately. So it actually ends up being a pretty good spread in general. So you could go for something like that. I had something different on the other team, but yeah, this is definitely something that I still think is pretty viable. But yeah, you have this uh, Calyrex, uh, Rillaboom, and Sinor. Like, it's just so, so good. Like, this, you know, the fake out into substitute stuff. I do think you need a little bit more bulk, and like, there's you probably have to sacrifice some speed, but yeah, that's something that's a bit more specific and definitely worth considering for tournaments. But yeah, I still think this is relatively a solid spread. Either way, though, like, I think the spell tag stuff is really cool. Some people are running Nasty Plot, though, and running like Life Orb. You could definitely do that. I know the people who are running a Mian Shao are running a Life Orb Terra Ghost. And the reason behind running Life Orb Terra Ghost is that they already rely on Wide Guard for the mirror, so like, 
you know, you just Terror Ghost, then Wind, and then you play pair with uh, Whimsica or Tornadus. I think the most exciting thing about this format is that people are actually starting to use Whimsicott because Whimsicott has viability now. Just because the thing is, like, as the formats end up getting more power, the Tailwind Setter doesn't need to be as bulky or, you know, capable of doing damage because the partners are going to be, you know, doing all the work, especially the Restricteds. So you end up opting for Whimsicott, which has a lot more tools than Tornadus. Whereas in the other format, you absolutely needed Tornadus to win the game. Here, you just need the support from Tornadus. Tornadus, and Whimsicott gives you that better support. So that's kind of the reyson why people are doing that. But like either way, so Calyrex, what other things can you do with this Pokemon? So let's see. I was like, I guess we could get a little creative. Hmm. I mean, okay, someone's gonna do this, right? Like someone's gonna do this as a way of beating our Shifu. Like if people start running Scarf or Shifu next to Chen Pao, which you know already is common, and just try to Terra Water Surging Strikes, like imagine someone just runs like Terra Water, <laughs> Calyrex, and then they just have Rocky Helmet, and then they play like super bulky Trick Room. Like this isn't completely out of the ordinary, right? You have the Trick Room, Willow Wisp, Astral Barrage. Like it's a good Trick Room setter with Fake Out and your Rillaboominsum can sweep, but you can also just Fake Out Astral Barrage spam. And Rocky Helmet's so good because, you know, it, it makes things take chip. And your Special Bulk is already insane. And Willowsp is great at beating physical attackers. Like Willowsp Rocky Helmet is so good. So like I think the I think the main thing to take away from this is that Calyrex has endless potential. Like I actually think this thing has endless potential in terms of like in terms of what you can do. And it's really, really scary. Like in my opinion, it's actually insanely scary. Because, like, you could just play, you know, Will-O-Wisp, you could play something like Snarl. Like, Snarl's good support. So, the thing about Calyrex is one of its best counters are Tropicos, you know, because it's a normal type. But you can just Snarl through that. And because you're clinging Snarl, you're weakening its damage output. And because of that, like, you know, Snarl, Will-O-Wisp being the partners, Calyrex ends up being fine into that kind of stuff. So, maybe you end up running really bulky Rocky Helmet. Maybe you end up running, like, Spell Tag, Terra Fairy. Like, you still can do the same set and run Will-O-Wisp. Because, like, Fairy's a good defensive typing. And like, you know, you guys snort, and then you can run really bulky Astral Barrage. So you could actually play towards that, you know, you can drop Willows for Trick Room. Like, there's a bunch of different options that you can go for on Calyrex, but yeah, the main takeaway is that this Pokemon's busted. Like, look at this thing's move pool. Like, it gets access to Pollen Puff, it gets access to Trick Room, it gets access to Taunt. Like, it, these po this Pokemon's gonna run every move. Like, it's, it's, like, it's, it could run any move. Like, so many things are viable. This thing gets access to Encore, by the way. It gets access to Disable. So Encore, Disable, Protect, Astral Barrage. Like, that's another good set. This thing gets access to Calm Mind, I believe. So, like, there's just so many setups. This thing gets access to Life Dew, I believe, if, if, I, if I recall correctly. It gets access to Haze. Haze beats Don Doza. I mean, Don Doza is completely going to fall off anyways, but yeah, that's kind of the thing about Calyrex, because you only really need Protect and Astral Barrage, and the rest is really up to customization, especially with Trastalization, and I think that's really going to break this Pokemon. Like, my personal hope was that Calyrex and Xerneas did not exist in the format, but you know, Xerneas is not in the game, which is why it doesn't exist in the format, but yeah, dude, imagine, like, they, they sh really should not, not have brought this Pokemon, like, I think it's just so, so good, but that leads me to the next point. How do we counter Calyrex? How do you beat this broken Pokemon? I think one of the better ways is not in Sinor, but it's actually this thing. King Gambit should be Calyrex. Like with Assault Vest, it realistically has a good matchup into it. Like it has access to Sucker Punch, it has access to Iron Head to hit the Terra Fairy stuff, Kowtow Cleave is so good, a fast low kick to beat in Sinor. Like it's in a decently good position. I would consider running Terra Fairy because you don't want to lose to close combat. Because like, and the other thing is that Calyrex is so strong that like you can't even afford to run Max Attack Adamant. Like you actually need to invest a little bit into Special Defense, so you patch that up if you do choose to tear in front of an Urshifu. But Astral Barrage into Terra Water Surging Strikes, or even like you know Terra Fairy Astral Barrage into regular Surging Strikes does so much to King Gambit. It's so like King Gambit ne isn't necessarily the best counter, but it's a solid counter. And I think I think that's I think that I think that's what we're gonna say. Like no Pokemon on this list is gonna be a hard counter to Calyrex, other than Tropicos, of course. But like King Gambit, it can match up positively into it. It, sh it can actually soak up the hits. It's so like King Gambit's in a good position. Incineroar's in a good position if you're running Assault Vest. You pretty much need Assault Vest and Sinor if you are playing if you are playing it as a Calyrex counter, because the thing is like your berry isn't gonna work, and the U-turn chip is actually really useful in this format. As the as you know, as the formats get stronger and stronger, the more you know, the more damage that you're actually doing, you know, because of, you know power, you know, the power levels are getting higher, it's better. Like you're you're better off doing more damage. So you actually end up having more value with U-turn sometimes, and that's why in the Dynamax format Sword and Shield, Gabriel Lagati used Assault Vest and Sinor to get second place at the North American 
American International Championships in 22. It's because that extra chip was so good, and then Assault Vest gave so much immediate bulk into all the strong special attackers in the format. And I, I think it makes a lot of sense here too. Like, you're just taking way less damage from Astro Barrage. Like, a crit Astro Barrage would probably do 30% to you, and at that point, you can actually use Incineroar effectively into that Pokemon. So I would consider Assault Vest Incineroar. Now, the other Pokemon that I think has a good matchup is Furigraph. Now, why Furigraph? First of all, Furigraph is immune to Astral Barrage. It's immune to Fake Out, technically, you know, because of Armor Tail. And it sets up Trick Room. So you can just position all these slow attackers, you know, your King Gambit, your Incineroar, your even Woodhammer, Assault Vest, Rillaboom. Like, all these Pokemon can just get rid of Calyrex immediately. And that's good. Like, that, that that's definitely a way to beat the Pokemon. So you could just use that. But Calyrex can run in Prison and Trick Room, plus Astral Barrage Protect. So you have to be careful. Like, but you'll see that in open team sheet and close sheet, it's definitely a lot harder. But I do think well played Freygraph can be really good into Calyrex Ghost teams. Because, like, it's a Trick Room setter that isn't afraid of their best attacker, which is Calyrex. So you actually end up, you know, using Freygraph really well. So that's one way to do it. Now, the other way to beat Calyrex, and you guys probably know this already, is Ting Lu. Like, there's not much explanation to give there. All I would say is that you absolutely have to run Throat Chop, otherwise you won't beat Calyrex. But yeah, I would run Rocky Helmet. A Vessel of Rune is so good, because you'll also help your partners take on Calyrex. So yeah, this defensively with Throat Chop is really good into that. You do have to be careful of her Shifu or Rapid Strike, which is why I have Rocky Helmet here. Like, you don't just want to get overwhelmed by it. You at least want to punish them if they want to overwhelm. But here you can actually afford to Defensive Terra, because you still keep that Vessel of Ruin. And then you can Defensive Terra into something like Water or whatever. And at that point, you're actually going to beat the Urshifu as well. Even if you Terra Poison, I think you beat that Pokemon. So yeah, because the Vessel of Ruin really adds a lot. It also just helps your partners in general take on Calyrex. So you definitely can't slow down its damage output. I would recommend you have to run the Dark move though. Like you you need to be able to clear Calyrex. Otherwise, Calyrex will just overwhelm your Tinglu and consistently spam Astral Barrage. Like you have very few turns to respond to Calyrex and that's what makes it such a broken Pokemon. Now, other Dark types that would be good. We're going to look at Dark and Normal types. I don't think Roaring Moon would be that good into Calyrex. I guess you... Oh, wait, hold up. Isn't this Pokemon good into Calyrex? So if you're running Speed Boost Jugulus, you don't even have to run Speed Boost Jugulus, by the way. You can run it uh, next to a Maridon. If you manage to get a Speed Boost, don't you just snarl down the Pokemon and get rid of it? Like, that. that's it. Like, And it's good damage reduction, so if they Terra, it doesn't matter. So like, this with a Speed Boost would actually be really solid into Calyrex. Like, it, I think I think it would actually have a decently good matchup there. So this is actually really worth considering, in my opinion. Like, that is probably one of the better ones. Then we're going to look at uh, Tropicos. I mean, the thing about Tropicos is that this Pokemon's going to beat Calyrex. It's just going to sit on the field, it's going to it's gonna Terra Stellar, and it's going to spam Star Storm. If they, you try to defensively Terra to get, you know, take and send knockoff, then you're just going to drop the Terra Star Storm because it hits a super effective. So yeah, the set that beats it, though, is the Calm Mind stuff. Like, well-played Calm Mind Terra Tropicos teams should inherently have a good matchup into uh, Calyrex. Like, this is definitely one way to get around the Pokemon. So I guess, like, at least like by looking through all these counters, what I'm considering is that there are actually a lot of ways to beat Calyrex. Now, Calyrex can obviously adapt and beat these Pokemon, so it's not the easiest thing. Like, the uh, Leftovers Nasty Plot with Draining Kiss, Terra Fairy next to Rillaboom, like, that would probably beat Tropagos. Or even, like, you know, like, Psy Shock would beat Tropagos because, you know, it gets around the Calm Mind, so you do have to be careful when you're going up against that stuff. But I think in most situations, you will be fine. And, yeah, like, you know, you I think an open Team Sheet Calyrex isn't going to be that, that bad. I think it can definitely take events, but it's not just going to be super oppressive. But in closed sheets, the Pokemon's going to be like way, way too difficult to handle. But yeah, that's one of them. Now, the other one, Defensive Terra Normal is good into Calyrex. I will say that. Like any Pokemon Defensive Terra into Normal as a good neutral type, like Normal does become a good neutral type now. Porygon 2 with Eerie Impulse or Foul Play also has a good matchup. I mean, both moves are really self-explanatory. I think Icy Wind can also help versus that just to get speed control because you allow your you know, other Pokemon like our Shifu to outspeed. So yeah, Icy Wind, uh, Foul Play, you know, Eerie Impulse, like these three are really good moves to get around that. And again, it's it's a normal type that sets up Trick Room, so it can just set up Trick Room really freely in front of that Pokemon. So yeah, that's definitely something you can do. Now, the other thing is that any random Pokemon with moves that are four times super effective and your ability and it has ability to take on one hit from Calyrex would, you know, obviously beat the Pokemon. So what people did in Sword and Shield is they they did uh, Shadow Claw Groudon. This was invented by uh, Yuma Kinugawa, who really good Japanese player who top cut the World Championships in 22. He uh, finished rank one at the end of a rank season with Shadow Claw Groudon, and everyone picked it up after that because, you know, it just had Calyrex super effective. Max Phantasm was so good back then, but yeah, it was mainly to beat 
beat Calyrex. If Calyrex burned you with will -O you still beat it with Shadow Claw after Wildfire Chip. That was kind of the uh, whole logic behind that, you know, through his Focus Sash. So yeah, that was, that was kind of that. So, but you can do something similar here. Like any random bulky Pokemon with Assault Vest running a Ghost or Dark move can beat Calyrex. And I think Specs Calyrex being the scariest one, so it's actually a good sign to do that. So that is one way to do it. Now I'm going to look at other Dark types and see what else we can come up with. Um, let's see. A Chiyu is going to be good. A Scarf Chiyu. I think Scarf Chiyu can do it. Uh, Urshibu Dark is definitely one of the best ones. So, yeah, I think because we have so many good Dark types and, you know, Speed Boost, Roaring Moon, even Dragon Dance, like, if you get one Dragon Dance, it's just going to drop to Knock Off. So, yeah, Roaring Moon can definitely do it as well. But, yeah, I guess the main takeaway here, and, like, even Chen Pao is good into it, uh, I guess, you know, the thing to take away is that there's definitely ways to beat Calyrex. It's just that it's still going to be an oppressive Pokemon, and Calyrex's partners, like, you know, Urshifu Rapid Shark just clears almost this entire list. I guess not Wochen. Wochen might be pretty good. You know, Wochen could come back. A Pokemon that beats Calyrex that also gives physical bulk into Calyrex's physical attacking partners, that could be good. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, this is just going over Calyrex counters, going over how I hit rank 1 on ladder without losing a set, and, uh, yeah. I think uh, that wraps up the video. Let me know what you want to, what you want to see tomorrow, and yeah, hope you have a good day. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye.